The orange glow of fire lit up the morning sky as flames engulf a Cleveland church. But the congregation's faith remains strong this afternoon. The structure on Euclid and East 96 next to the Cleveland Clinic is now a swaying, teetering shell. The early morning fire brought tears to many who attend the Euclid Avenue Congregational Church of the United Church of Christ. That includes our very own Leon Bibb, and Leon is here with his perspective as a church member. But our live team coverage begins with News Channel 5's Paul Kiska, live on 5 outside what remains of that church today. Paul? Well, Lee, a couple of things are happening right now. Cleveland Fire investigators, as we speak, are looking over, going over security video given to them by Cleveland Clinic police to see if they can actually see lightning striking this church last night. Also, a decision being made on what to do with what remains standing of this church. Demolish it, uh, keep it up. They don't know yet looking into that. Either way, more than a century of history went up in smoke during the midnight hour. 39 minutes after midnight, firefighters got the call. Fire at the Euclid Avenue Congregational Church near Cleveland Clinic. High winds fanned the flames, and soon this historic church built 123 years ago was engulfed. A rare triple three alarm, meaning extra help and units needed, adding up to more than 70 firefighters battling this inferno and Mother Nature. Firefighters climbed three-story ladders in 40-mile-per-hour winds and lightning to prevent damage to the nearby clinic building, where eight patients were moved as a precaution. We did have some intense rain showers and lightning, and the thunder was still going on at the time. But again, our first goal was to make an assessment of the building and to try to uh, get water on it as soon as possible. And again, with the quick thinking of our chiefs, that we were able to up it to a triple three alarm fire. We had adequate personnel on the scene. We were able to control it to just the church. Many speculate lightning triggered the fire. There's been several reports that there was a lightning strike. That is an unconfirmed cause at this time. Until our investigation unit has the opportunity to get in and search through the debris, we're listing it as undetermined. Members of the church had been preparing for Palm Sunday, then Easter, but everything has changed. We were supposed to have a meeting today, two meetings. One was a women's association. We make quilts for seniors, and that was supposed to be at 10 o'clock, and then from 6 to 8 this evening, we were supposed to have a Lenten service. Where will we go? What will we do? Some of the things that were left in there, uh, the organ, this is a beautiful organ. And it took two hours and 11 minutes for more than 70 firefighters to bring this fire under control last night in terrible weather conditions. And throughout the day, firefighters have been pouring water on the hot spots to prevent any flare-ups here. By the way, Euclid Avenue remains closed at East 96 near Cleveland Clinic. Reporting live from the scene, Paul Kiska, News Channel 5. What an enormous loss. Paul, thank you. This